Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create an image gallery. You'll be able to scroll through your images pretty easily, and it has a nice, beautiful ease on it, which allows your images to show up in a fashionably late fashion. It's fashion too many times in a sentence. These birds are so pretty. Don't they look like, uh... The, doesn't this wing right here look like the type of wings you get in the Popeye's 8-piece combination? No, uh, maybe not. Well, let's get into it. I have two layers. One is my ActionScript 3 layer, which I will lock right now. And the next layer is my content layer. And I'm going to show you how to create that content layer and what's inside of it, what it consists of. The items we have is the images, of course. And I'll show you how to put that all together. And we have our scroll button and we have just a simple design on the side so let's go into the images by double clicking I'll go into the images and we'll see what it consists of I made sure that the cross here was at the top of the uh, corner up here and also I just put in my image one after another that's it is just taking the images from the library and placing them in uh, your movie clip and what I did was I named this movie clip pictures. I also have another movie clip, which is my drag button. That's what I named it. Let's double click and look into that. I have two frames. One is my up frame and one is my down frame. This is a movie clip, but it'll be acting as a button. So we'll be controlling the frames via action script. So don't make a simple button. Just make a movie clip and we'll use code to change its on and off status. So what we have to do is click on the ActionScript 3 frame and let's open up our actions. The first thing we want to do is since our drag button which is the button that we created but it is a movie clip remember to create it as a movie clip we made our drag button and we told it to stop because it is a movie clip which means that it'll continue to play we don't want that to happen. We also set the Y coordinate to zero on the drag button the next thing we did was create a variable, which was the stage height. The reason why we created a variable to hold the stage height is because we're going to use this number over and over again. And we don't want Flash to keep on calling stage height. We'd rather just call a simple number. The next thing we did was we add an event listener for the mouse down. And we named that function start drag. So add an event listener to the drag button and of the mouse event dot mouse down and we created the stop dr start drag we added a, another event listener to the stage and this event listener sees if the mouse is up so when the mouse button is released we call a function called stop drag the next and last event listener that we added was to the stage and it is of the event enter frame so every time we enter a frame the on enter function will fire so since we have all these add event listeners, now we can get into the functions, the functions of the event listeners. So let's look at the first function that I've created, which is function start drag. And of course we set E to a mouse event. And we go e.target.startDrag. And let's examine this e.target. When you use e.target, you're saying whatever the item was initialized to for this it was the drag button so we see drag button is the king of this function so we're saying that this is the target so this item here means the same thing as drag button btn so we're telling it to start dragging we put in this first variable false which is saying we don't want the mouse to center when you start dragging the next is we set a rectangle. Now a rectangle is adding um, limits to where you can drag because we don't want it to drag all over the stage. We want it to only drag in a certain part of the stage. So let's examine what's going on. The first thing is we have to set the X coordinate. So 480, that is all the way on that side of the screen. And we put zero, that'll start at the top. Now the next thing, you know, so we have the coordinate, then we have to give it 
dimensions a width and a height and we want our width to be zero because we don't want our button to move left and right and we put 400 because that's the size of our stage so that's how we do it and we also want the e dot target which is the same as drag button to go to and stop at the second frame the reason why we do this is because the whole start drag function means that your user is clicking down on the button or the movie clip that we created and once it clicks down we want it to go to frame 2 we also have another function or event listener which is stage dot at event listener and that is the stop drag that function fires when the mouse is up meaning the mouse button is released and let's look at that function the stop drag function is another a mouse event and what we want it to do is we say drag underscore btn or whatever you named your drag button which is a movie clip don't forget that we tell it to stop drag and once we stop the drag from happening we also want that movie clip to go to the first frame to show that it's down and that's pretty much it as far as the dragging of the button goes now we want to get the drag of the button to make a formula so essentially we can get where the dr where the button is and make a ratio so that we can scroll our images and that is this function on enter the first thing we want to do on this on enter e event is we want to create a variable called percent and data type it to a number and we assign that number to the drag button dot y divided by stage height this will give us a number greater than zero and one and what that means is it'll give us a percentage and once we have that percentage what we want to do is multiply it and we're gonna multiply that number which is picture height multiplied by negative one plus stage height this here is the real number that we're working with the percentage multiplies this number to give us what position the Y should be at as far as the pictures go so we're multiplying the picture height times one plus that stage height variable we created in the beginning the next item is the picture this is basically our easing function this is what makes the images not go immediately to the point but it brings it slowly or with ease to the destination we want and the way we do that is we set it up picture dot y minus equal parentheses picture dot y minus percent that number that we just created and we multiply it by a fraction uh, if you multiplied it by one it would go immediately to where you want it to go so the higher the number the faster and that's pretty much it I mean it's only two items on the stage your pictures and your button that drags and they interact with each other through that very important formula to create that awesome motion that you see on your screen right now and if you're worried about anything just make sure you go to my website onenterflash.com where you'll be able to download and copy and paste the code if I went a little bit too fast for you but hopefully you understand this and explain everything to your understanding. If you really like these tutorials, make sure you rate, subscribe, comment. Also go to my website on enterflash.com, click on an ad or two, put a few pennies in my pocket. You know, how else are we supposed to watch these birds at on enterflash? Okay? We we this water's not for free.